is the Banks Insider for the week of May 29th, 2020. I'm Jay, and it's been a wild week here at Banks. Let's get you up to speed. Earlier this week, Gail dropped episode 13 in the Killing a Duramax series. How will Gail reach 1,000 horsepower with this Duramax with stock internals? Banks worked with Comp Cams to design a camshaft that'll allow the engine to spin faster while keeping the valves open longer. There's so much to talk about with the head, springs, valves, clearances, open and closed durations, deflection. This video gets our feet just a little wet. Spoiler alert, we're on our third cam design already. Why? You'll have to watch the video to find out. Subscribe to our main YouTube channel or Facebook feed so you don't miss a minute. You don't want to be that student that's falling behind. First and second grade were easy, but social studies division, this is going to be tough. In this week's R&D update, we learned that a signature piece of some of the most powerful Duramax engines ever created, the rugged cast aluminum Gale Banks valve covers, are finally being produced for sale. Better late than never, right? The first run of samples are in and being checked for form and fit before heading to the machine shop. Inspired by the muscle car era, the heavy gauge cast aluminum construction ensures high detail and reduces the warping of the valve cover flange and oil leaks. Available soon in natural as cast aluminum or trademark powder coated red finish. We hope to announce a release date soon. In our iDash on the road, we check in with Jeffrey Alexander, a self-proclaimed data junkie, much like Gail Banks himself. To him, the iDash data monster fills the need for gathering intel on what people normally don't get to see through their gauges on their dashboard. He bought the iDash for himself as a Christmas present and used it on his modded F-150 EcoBoost. The iDash later migrated to another F-150, only this time with a 5-liter and a Roush supercharger. Aside from the Roush blower under the hood, the truck remains bone stock. It is the ultimate sleeper. Be fun to roll up on someone at a stoplight with that sucker. <laughs> Jeffrey got the iDash for two main reasons, to see how his truck was running at a glance and to collect data. I love the idea that I can log data. Being a mathematician and get this, a physicist, I love data. So with the information that I gather, I can build charts and graphs, all sorts of nerdy stuff. I like the small form factor and unlike a normal gauge of its size, this one packs a punch. For Jeffrey, the iDash data monster is the fix that he needs for his numbers addiction. Next up is our dealer spotlight. Jay Sandvig of G&J Diesel gave himself the title of Diesel Pharmacist. A lot of quotes going on in this episode. Well, I should have. I'm sorry. <laughs> but his official title is Outside Sales. In the three years that he's worked there, there's been a lot of growth at G&J. The company originally started in the mid 80s by partners Gary and John, hence the name G&J. But Brad Mackinnon, a former Boilermaker, bought the business in August of 93, deciding that he needed to change his career. Since the business was already established, he decided to keep the name and work on growing the business. G&J was originally a small office with a single bay and a little industrial complex. But Brad and his wife Tracy had expansion plans in mind. We're in an industrial park, explained Jay, and there used to be five or six businesses here, but we've taken over the whole strip and now our shop has five pull-through bays, an office building, and a machine shop. The business is also a stocking warehouse dealer servicing surrounding shops with an abundance of parts. And their machine shop rebuilds engines like the 6.0 Power Stroke to be extremely reliable. And they build gas and diesel racing engines like the popular Dirty Max drag truck. G&J Diesel has a lot to offer from simple service to all out blistering high performance builds. So if you're in the vicinity of Billings, Montana, call them up. For our fan focus this week, we spoke to Robert Cordes, who's always been into Fords and Diesels. He had a complete bank system in his 6.0 and he knew whatever his next vehicle was gonna be, it had to be something that could replace that trusty Ford with power, room, and versatility. Being a family man and not out of the stage where he wanted big power, he needed another truck with four doors. He's got a 69 Mach 1 Mustang and it couldn't fit his whole family in it. I just want something that I can include my family in. He ended up finding the perfect project in a beautiful four-door 1972 Ford F-250 Crew Cab Special out in Washington State. It was the original color, original paint, original interior, only had 56,000 miles on it and was powered by a 394 big block. But it wasn't cool with that big block. He had his eyes set on dropping in a 12 valve Cummins with a compound turbo officially making it a Thummins. Get it? Ford? Oh, you know the deal. The donor engine and transmission would come from a 95 Dodge Ram. Robert and his friends did all the work putting in things like the compound turbo system, 
all the welding, trial and errors, they were all done right in his garage. The whole job took him about six months to complete and it was the first time the truck had been driven since delivery. I never drove it with the gas motor in it, he says. The first day I drove it was with this engine and this transmission swap and the compound turbos. Now he and his family can haul lumber, get ice cream, and lay down some rubber together. Aww. Next up, we have an excellent adventure in our time machine phone booth, and we head back to 1989. Whoa. Gail Banks introduced us to the world's only onboard dynamometer called the Banks Dynafact. This remarkable system measured engine horsepower and other valuable dynamic facts while the vehicle was in motion, not just sitting static on a dyno. The patented electronics showed the real-time horsepower produced in both digital and analog form and was able to record peak values to measure improvements made through tuning and component changes. An exclusive analog gauge with an air core movement designed by the Banks team became the most advanced and unique instrument of its kind, allowing the driver to shift gears by horsepower peak rather than RPM. The Dynafact accurately measured horsepower in two ways, gross and net. Gross horsepower is the total horsepower at the rear wheels, while net horsepower is the gross horsepower minus the drag horsepower. In addition, it measured both aerodynamic and frictional drag horsepower. Aerodynamic drag is the amount of horsepower needed for a vehicle moving through the air, while frictional drag is the amount of horsepower required to overcome the combination of mechanical losses through the tires, gears, and bearings. The impact of rolling resistance or gear losses were measurable with the Dynafact. It was also able to measure acceleration and deceleration. Aside from being a valuable tool used by Banks engineers, the Dynafact was purchased by development engineers at Chrysler, competition teams, and automotive service centers. So we've had a few questions from fans wanting to know what colors we offer for the new patented Ram Air diff cover, and well, you'll be happy to know that we offer it in raw aluminum for you guys to custom coat. Maybe green, blue, gold. Yellow, green, red, blue, 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 red, purple, green, yellow, orange, red. Fire engine red? Okay, sure, why not? Not only does it outcool all flatback high capacity covers, but it cools faster than stock and its fluid dynamics on the inside don't cause viscous horsepower loss like flatback covers do. It's a win, win, win. Get your power back, increase the life of your lube and gears, and look good doing it. It's available for the GM and Ram 14-volt American axles at bangspower.com. So stay glued to our Facebook and Instagram feeds, and be sure to subscribe to Banks Power and Banks Insider YouTube channels. We're here, and we've been pumping out performance for over 60 years. <laughs> Yeah! Yeah!